Hey there and welcome to day 10 of the Business Unfiltered vlog where I'm taking you guys behind the scenes for 30 days of what it looks like in the business and life of an achiever. So today I'm going to be honest, I realize that the title is very clickbaity. However, it's also true. So how do you earn 9K in seven days? Well, since I did it in the past week, I figure, you know what? Like, let me just come out here and share any tips and tricks that you guys can pull away because I do think that there is a conversation around money that isn't isn't totally honest in the online space. So people will make it seem like, oh, I just woke up and hit six figures. Oh, all you have to do is put this like one simple strategy in place and your business is gonna have 10K months or like whatever, there's a lot of talk and like not to really judge anyone, but um, sometimes it's very hard to know what to believe and what it really does take to make the kind of income that you want. So I thought, you know what, let me take you through what it looked like for me for those past seven days and how we were able to bring in that income and what it kind of looked like just so you could see, again, behind the scenes and feel free to pull whatever helps you in your own business. Because obviously this is something that I dive into when I have clients and I'm doing one-on-one -on -one work or people in the Achiever Circle have questions or anything like that as far as like, okay, um, what do I need to do specifically and all that kind of stuff because everyone's business is a little bit different. However, I do find that the core activities are very, very similar. So if I share those, you should still be able to pull way um, even if you are a client of mine or whatever the case is so first thing to know is the past three weeks I have been traveling like crazy so I was in New York for a weekend then I went to Austin and Texas for a long weekend and then we went to where did we go Denver Reno Tahoe um, in like a span of five days. So we had like a lot of travel going on. And for me, when I travel, I'm usually not working my business anywhere near like I would on a typical day. So my typical week is Monday through Thursday, about 12 to five are my core work hours. So that's when I'll do different calls and you know, my content creation, all that good stuff. And then when I'm traveling, I really struggle with doing work just because it's not, like I'm not in my routine. So when I travel, I put out like an hour a day and it's what's the very minimal that I need to do in my business. And I talked about this in another um, previous vlog while I was traveling, but I try to do like the bare minimum of that hour a day. And then other than that, I'm not really working my business when I travel. So this means that I've been unplugged quite a bit in the past few weeks. However, still made this 9k in seven days so how the heck did that happen well we have a couple things in play one is the fact that i am consistent as hell in my business so that means that what happened in you know the 90 days previous to this past week is now working for me so it's not like this overnight sensation like this fast fix people like are looking for it is the fact that because during those 90 days i was showing up i was creating content i was making connections with people i was doing coffee chats i was um letting people know how they can refer me or referring other people right um to to other people that i know that it could be beneficial for them all of that makes a difference so first is looking back at your 90 days and same thing here we're actually going into our last quarter of the year so what you're doing right now may not pay off until january but if you want to have a good january then you need to be showing up right now. So what are you doing consistently in your business that works for you? So that means that you are out there creating content that speaks to your ideal clients. You're out there sharing your offers because of course not everybody's gonna say yes right away. It takes some time. So of course I'm seeing people that some of them were no's maybe at the beginning of summer and now they're ready to you know take me up on a certain offer or whatever the case is so you have a lot of different things at play so the first thing is 
being consistent with giving value and expecting nothing in return. Because if you're always looking for something back from people, um, when you are going out there and you are putting your gifts into the world, then it's going to be a very, very um, uphill battle. Yes, I know you need to make money. Yes, I know you run a business. However, your intention going forward means everything. So are you willing to go out there and serve even if you're not seeing the immediate fast result that everyone and their mom seems to be promising these days. So first thing, consistency. Consistency with serving your tribe. So are you showing up um, on a consistent basis with whatever type of content you put out there? So if you have a list, do they even freaking get an email from you ever? Or are you just like, oh, that list isn't big enough for me to be consistent with? Well, then you're not going to be consistent when it's 5K, 10K. It's just the truth. Um, are you being consistent with your social media? So do you have one or two outlets that are your favor and your, your ideal clients are on? Are you showing up and adding value? Are you connecting with other people, maybe within your similar industry, maybe people who have complimentary businesses as you? Like, are you connecting with people and letting them know, like, this is what I do, this is how I can help people? That matters. The second thing is to create an offer that serves your ideal client. So if you've heard this before and you're like, oh, I've already done it, did you? Because are you making the money that you want? If you're not, then I want you to go back and explore that for yourself because there's a disconnect somewhere. Either you are way too broad in your message so you're not attracting your ideal clients or you keep thinking ideal client work like, oh no, like I know I can serve everyone. How's that working? Or number two in that is the fact that your offers don't specifically serve your ideal client. So this is where market research comes in. So for me, when I put offers out in the past seven days, they were pretty much, I would say, I'm thinking of all the people that, that signed up. It was probably about a 50-50 split of people that I privately invited saying, hey, like, you know, this is what I have coming up. Here's my offer. Like, you know, I really think this would be a good fit for you. X, Y, Z, not being attached to the outcome because if they work with me or not, like that's their call. I know I have something that I can serve them, but I can't, um, I can't make the decision for them. So reaching out. So some of the people were people I personally reached out to because I did get to know them and I really do think that it can serve them. And then the other half of that is people that are on my list or social media is when that offer went out, it was very specific of who it was for and who would benefit from it. So this is the call to action where you are very specific to who your ideal clients are because you don't want to work with people that you don't want to work with. Um, and your offer has them going, oh my God, that's exactly what I need. So it's not this vague offer offer. Instead, the market research was done in advance so that when the offer went out, I knew exactly who it was going to be for and I knew who would be the right person and the other people would be deterred away from it on purpose. So that is super, super important when it comes to making money in your business. So like I said, like I'm not going to give you like this one quick strategy because when it comes down to it, there's more to it than just that. So yes, first, it was the fact that I show up consistently for my tribe, I give value, I am using um, my ideal client as the model of the value that I give. So I'm speaking directly to them for a reason on purpose. It's who I want to serve and who I want to attract. Um, the second part is the fact that I am creating an offer specifically, or I have created an offer specifically for my ideal clients. So based on the market research, that's how I developed the offer for the 9K. And then I went out, I privately invited people, I sent it to a segment of my list um, that I knew would be the best fit for it so that I was able to get about that 50-50. And I don't know that number specifically, I'm kind of like guessing based on my memory right now, of people that came in through the private the invites or people that came in through the actual um, emails that went out. So, you know, having people apply and all that good stuff because I want to make sure it's a, it's a good fit for them and me as well um, in this new offer. So 
for your business, if you are looking to create a, a sizable income um, within the next week, I want you to be aware of one, how have you been showing up before you throw this offer out? If you're just throwing it out, but you've never freaking given value in your business or you rarely consistently do it, you're gonna struggle. Um, two, is it very specific to your ideal clients? Three, like, are you even serving your ideal clients, right? Have you identified who they are? And then did the mar market research to create the offer that was exactly the right fit for them? If so, you can have a very big payday if you want it in your business, but it's a decision that you have to make. So this video is officially longer than anything else. So I am going to um, cut it off there. I feel like I could talk on this for honestly an hour, but I just wanted to give you some quick tangibles that you can go ahead and apply to your business and your offers, making sure that they are super specific and you are putting in the work that you need to do. And I don't mean by working 24 seven, I mean by putting in the, the specific focus focus action work that needs to be done versus busy work in order to reach the goals that you want in your business. So I'll be back tomorrow. Have an amazing day, you guys. Bye.